Hello viewers, welcome to this channel. Here in this video, we are going to focus on part 2 of literary terms. Those who did not watch part 1 video can see the link in description below. We will focus on the next set of literary terms in this video, which are anagram, analogy, anthropomorphism and antithesis. Well, let's focus on the first literary term, which is anagram. Here is the definition for the literary term anagram. Anagrams are an extremely popular form of literary device wherein the writer jumbles up parts of word to create a new word. From the syllables of a phrase to the individual letters of a word, any fraction can be jumbled to create a new form. Anagram is a form of wordplay that allows the writer to infuse mystery and a little interactive fun in the writing so that the reader can decipher the actual word on their own and discover a depth of meaning to the writing. Here is an explanation on anagram with an example. An anagram for debit card is bad credit. As you see, both phrases use the same letters. By mixing the letters, a bit of humor is created. Thus, anagram is used in this example. Debit card, bad credit. Well, Let's focus on the next literary term, which is analogy. Here is the definition for the literary term analogy. An analogy is a literary device that helps to establish a relationship based on similarities between two concepts or ideas. By using an analogy, we can convey a new idea by using the blueprint of an old one as a basis of understanding. With a mental linkage between the two, one can create understanding regarding the new concept in a simple and succinct way. Here is an example for you. In the same way as one cannot have the rainbow without the rain, one cannot achieve success and riches without hard work. If we look at this example, there are two different concepts with similarities, which is concept one is a rainbow without the rain, concept two is achieving success and riches without hard work. Here the first concept is giving us the min mental linkage to understand the second concept which is achieving success and riches without hard work. This is the way how analogy works. Well, let's focus on the next literary device which is anthropomorphism. Here is the definition for anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism can be understood to be the act of lending a human quality, emotion or ambition to a non-human object or being. Let's see how it works. Look at the example of anthropomorphism given. The raging storm brought with it howling winds and fierce lightning as the residents of the village looked up at the angry skies in alarm. Here you can see the human attributes or emotions such as raging, fierce, angry which had been applied to the non-living beings such as storm, lightning, sky. In this way, Anthropomorphism is used uh, to create more uh, emphasis in the writing. Well, let's focus on the last literary device, which is antithesis. Here is the definition for you. An antithesis is used when the writer employs two sentences of contrasting meanings in close proximity to one another, whether they are words or phrases of the same sentence. An antithesis is used to create a stark contrast using two divergent elements that come together to create one uniform whole. The purpose of using an antithesis in literature is to create a balance between two opposite qualities and lend a greater insight into the subject. The usage of antithesis is quite interesting. Let's see it with an example. When Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, it might have been one small step for a man but it was one giant leap for a mankind. Let's analyze this example clearly. Here, when Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, it may look like one small step for a man to take uh, the leg and put it and place it and walk. But basically, it is a great success for the whole mankind to reach the moon and walk on it. That is what the one giant leap for mankind means. You can see contrasting ideas had been used together to give this greater impact in the sentence. For example, you can see one small step is totally contradictory from one giant leap. And a man is totally contradictory from mankind. Thus, this literary device antithesis will give a greater impact in writing 
by using contradictory elements together. Dear viewers, you have learned the four literary devices in this video, which are anagram, analogy, anthropomorphism, and antithesis. Dear ones, hope you gain knowledge through this video. Don't fail to subscribe to this channel. Click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Keep supporting this channel. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you all. Bye.